So at this point, pretty much every single person has already covered this news, right? I mean, I wanted to make a video about it too, like 10, 12 hours ago, but it was just a super, super busy day for me, so I didn't really have a chance to sit in front of a computer and record this video until right now. But just in case, there are a few of you out there who somehow missed this information for the entire day, we're gonna quickly talk about it. All right, so as you guys can see, in front of me right now, or I guess beside me, is an image of a mastered Ultra Instinct Goku figure. And you might be like, okay, that's cool. He looks awesome, but why are you showing this to us? I mean, there are a million Goku figures out there, a ton of mastered Ultra Instinct Gokus, Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, and so on and so forth, right? So what's so special about this one? Well, this one, is actually very special, especially relevant for people like us, as in, you know, Dokkan Battle players, because this is the official Dokkan 6th Anniversary Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku figure. So, essentially, what you're looking at right now is a preview of the card art for the upcoming LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku unit, which is going to be part of the, you know, 6th Anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest, which is starting on JP, in roughly like a month and a half, man, holy crap. Yo, I knew it was soon, but I just looked at it, I was like, yo, it's starting in the beginning of February, we're at the end of December now, so yeah, JP players, I hope you're ready, man, because all this stuff is happening very, very soon. And uh, yeah, there's the preview for his art. My first impressions, honestly, when I first saw it, I was like, it's good, it's okay, but his pose I think could have been a little bit better. I think he could have had more of a action-oriented pose, you know, for a mastered Ultra Instinct Goku for a unit that's as hype as he is. I think they could have given him a better pose, the effects, I mean, it's part of the uh, figure. I, I'm expecting the actual art to have some better effects, so that's not a huge deal, but I just feel like the pose is not the best choice but it's not bad either. I mean, at the end of the day, it's mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. So no matter what pose they give him, no matter what effects they give him, no matter what his passive and leader skill are, to be honest, and his links and all that stuff, people are still gonna be extremely hyped for him. People are still gonna be summoning. Everybody is still gonna be emptying out their wallets if you are, you know, pay to play that is, to uh, try to pull him, right? And a lot of free to play players, I can guarantee you, are gonna be converted to pay to play after this guy drops. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really matter too much like what his pose is, all that stuff, but I just feel like his his pose could have been a little bit better as, you know, the sixth anniversary unit as the first ever uh, LR mastered Ultra Instinct Goku in the game. But uh, yeah, there he is. That's most likely going to be the art, just like the figures we got from the past couple of years for the anniversary uh, units, right? Like for example, last year we had the, uh, or sorry, two years ago was for the fourth anniversary. We had the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta figures. And then the year before that, we had the Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito figures, right? And even though there are some like minor differences, it doesn't look exactly the same. It's essentially the you know, same pose as the card art, right? So um, you can pretty much, you know, be, be confident in the fact that this is gonna be the card art for our MUI Goku, and while I don't think it's bad, like I said, like it's it's pretty cool, it's it's pretty dope. Um, I don't know, maybe with like the LR shading and with like the different lighting effects and all that stuff from the card art, it's gonna look much cooler. I think right now, just like as a figure, especially like a blurry image like this, it's kind of hard to like really get the you know full feel of what he's gonna look like. But it's MUI Goku. It's MUI Goku, and at the end of the day, I think that's all that really matters. Now, in terms of the other half of the uh, Dual Dokkan Fest, I think most of the community is expecting a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, right? Like, it's not confirmed at this point, it's not 100%, but that's the unit that makes the most sense. So, it's probably going to be a Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, who is confirmed now, like 100% confirmed. I mean, he was kind of confirmed like a couple months ago, when that website posted um, like this listing for a pre-order of a Tokan Battle Anniversary figure and it said Ultra Instinct Goku and I think it was later removed but it was already too late because at that point everybody had already seen it right so 
Uh, we, we've already known about a UI Goku for a while, but the other half has still been kept a secret, and even at this point, even with this image out, we still don't really know what the other half is. But I would expect, within the next couple of weeks, for us to get a leaked image just like this. Oh, by the way, a big shout out to Baggy Saiyan on Twitter for posting this image, and also like posting like other figure you know reveals and all that stuff in the past. Um, yeah, so I would expect us to get that image for a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Um, you know, very soon, because since the anniversary is starting in like six weeks or less, um, yeah, we should get that leak, you know, within the next probably two to three weeks. We'll have to see, but of course, once that happens, you guys can rest assured that I will bring you that information as quickly as possible, and hopefully this time, or you know, th the next time, I won't be like 15 hours late because I was out doing like stuff. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I was doing. Important things. Important things you can be sure about that and uh, That's it guys. Yo, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this MUI Goku figure. Do you think it looks good? Um, were you expecting a little bit more in terms of like what the card art was gonna turn out, uh, you know, turn out turn out to be and uh, Do you think the other half of the dual Dokkan fest for the anniversary? It's gonna be Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta or do you think it's gonna be somebody else? I mean, there have been people saying that maybe it's like gonna be a hit, like an LR hit. I mean, we do need a hit really bad, right? We need a, we need a hit that actually can take a hit, right? Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I didn't even realize the pun, man. I was just saying it, I was like, wait, a hit that can take a hit. But the point is, the hit we have in the game right now has no defense, right? Like he is super, super squishy. So we need a good hit with good defense, and this would be a good opportunity for something like that. But if you look. You know, at the past um, anniversaries, like Dual Dokkan Fest, right? It's always been two super units, no? As far as I can remember, yeah, it's always been two super type units. So, it, it doesn't mean that they can't change that. It doesn't mean that they can't break the convention. But I think it's most likely still going to be two super type units this time around as well. So, once again, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and MUI Goku would make the most sense in terms of like all the options out there but i want to see your opinions i want to hear what you guys think about that and uh that's it guys there's your preview for the sixth anniversary mui goku is coming guys it's it's actually happening and i can't wait to see his animations to see his stats all those things i'll be keeping you guys posted on any anniversary news that we get um over the next month and a half and of course once the anniversary happens we'll be doing some summons doing some more coverage, all that stuff. So if that's, you know, what you're into, you guys are interested in that, then make sure to, uh, oh, number one, of course, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if you want to see those videos that are coming up in the future, then make sure to smash that big red subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. That's all I gotta say. Thank you once again for watching. And until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.